Hi, it's Monique, the Kelly Container Gardener. I'm here today to talk about common rose problems such as aphids and white flies and what to do about them. So a very common product on the market is neem oil, which I have tried multiple times. It's organic. You spray it underneath the rose leaves or any flower or vegetable. The problem is it doesn't always work and it takes a couple times to make the aphids or white flies go away. Additionally, if you just use soap and water to wipe down aphids, what you're really doing with Dawn is you're breaking down the waxy layer on a rose leaf, which is not good for the leaf overall. Uh, in addition, there is, um, you know, synthetic, a uh, man-made uh, killer for bug killers, but again they're not healthy for anyone and they don't always work either so the solution is worm castings it's a natural solution and i'm going to show you how to use it today today the type of earthworm castings we are going to use are by eb stone organics and worm castings are actually worm poop and they contain minerals such as potassium, magnesium, calcium, and phosphorus. But why I'm using them today is because they, when you put them into roses and mix it in with the soil or vegetables or flowers, they contain um, a, a something called uh, chitinase. And what that does is it is an enzyme that breaks down insects and it breaks down their exoskeleton and they die. And also then they're not gonna to wanna to come back and they can also uh, you know, smell and taste it from a, far away. So in addition to the worm castings, killing off the white flies and the aphids, it'll also enrich your soil. Um, I just wanna give you a little tip. When you're planting roses in a container, people like to put, suffocate their stem they make this mistake where they put the soil up to here, but the, it's better to actually leave it so you're just above the root system. That way you won't suffocate your stem. I think it's a lot, it's a problem where people who first start roses end up suffocating their stem, their rose dies, and they blame it on the nursery when that's actually the soil levels are too high. So, but in this regard, um, we are going to get the worm castings with into the soil. So we want to cover the soil with a two inch thick cover evenly. And then you want, after you do that, you want to till the soil, grab your rake, mix it together. This way, the worm castings will get into the soil system. Cover them back up. And make sure you do not forget to water after you add the worm castings to your soil. And at this point, if the worm castings don't take care of the aphids and the white flies, systemically, I'm not exactly sure what will. Thank you.